back in the closet, you old fart. The digital hard drive is recording the bits and bytes. Is there? Uh, okay? Yeah, yeah. Laz <laughs> hasn't upgraded to an SSD yet. <laughs> Things are cheap now, aren't they? Quiet yeah. on the set. Going live radio. everybody this is laz and this is jack welcome to another edition of lunch with laz and jack where we interpret the news so you don't have to that's right bringing you our own brand the news right here inside trinity avatar five days a week for your viewing and listening pleasure welcome to today's show today is thirsty thursday August 3rd, 2017, and of course, uh, got a little technical difficulty going on here. Seems the radio didn't kick in. Uh Uh-oh. Don't know why. No no switch on track change? Don't know why. Just uh, all of a sudden, just (laughs) up and quit. So we'll fix that in just a moment for those of you guys listening on the radio. We'll be right back. But for those of you listening and watching on stream, how's everybody doing today? Welcome to today's show. And don't forget, you can always join us in Discord. Uh, Just go to discord.me slash nbnn. If that's too complicated, you can go to nbnn.info and click on the Discord button to join us. And don't forget, we always hang out in the green room because we're too damn lazy to make it to we're live on air. Too lazy to go into the other room. Yeah. That's right. And, and, and you're welcome to uh, say things as long as you follow rule. The only rule, which the is the rule, and the only rule. Be bad. Be bad. Uh, be bad. All right, radio should be back up here, so uh, let's get moving on here. Everybody should be uh, joining us here momentarily. Thank you, Blood Omen. And uh, we will just go ahead with today's show. So, big news out there today. Uh, Jack and I were doing a little chat late last night and uh, doing a little... Uh, debate back and forth like we usually do and one guy's like i don't know and the other guy's like well you never know i've seen crazier shit happen yeah got plenty of time left so last night the seed invest had seventy eight thousand dollars in order to meet the the first uh or the minimum amount the minimum goal which is which is that five hundred thousand dollars and that is correct this morning i logged on uh decided to check the page it was at four hundred ninety nine thousand. that is correct so the, the and after that the seed invest has officially made that first milestone so congratulations on to portalarium on sitting at five hundred and sixteen thousand yeah. at the moment with four days left to go still folks four days yes. ten hours and 56 and minutes you left. too can own a part of portalarium and help That's them become right, get in a publisher on the good- now of course speaking of publishers uh with that, that's their first step on the way to becoming a self-publisher here inside the United States. Yes. Uh, now, is that, I'm guessing that's going to be all of the, the uh, North American region, maybe North and South. Uh, n- any- at, actually, just actually, North America, U.S. and Canada. North America. 
Uh, and inside of, course, of uh, Travian is the group that's going to be responsible for Central and South America. Uh, uh, then also they're going to be responsible for Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. Right. So and then Black Sun is, is going to be take caring the, the Baltic. Baltic. Region. Yes, and uh, there's. Uh, well, the, then the other markets become Japan and China, uh, Australia, <laughs> Australia, the land yeah. down under, land down under. But let's make our what Aussies does happy. this all mean for you guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you may be sitting there was... scratching your heads, going, wow. "Well, okay, they did this, they that did mean? that, they did the other thing. What does this mean for me?" Well, what this means for you guys more is players. basically more players. That, that means that, that's this about game it. Yeah. is going to get published. It's going to get published massively. And uh, it's on its way to everything that we've all been waiting for, which is um, getting, getting worldwide publication on this game so that uh, we can get the player base in here and really start having some fun. Now, of course, the... Uh, Announcement with Travian again. We covered this the other day, but also the uh, game re game reached the story complete milestone with this release. Yes, which tells us that the end is coming near. The end and is that nigh. The end is not coming nigh. near. The beginning. The beginning. Well, yes, the beginning yes. is coming. The end. The end of the beginning. That's the, right. the end of early access is coming. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and that opens the new door for release. Release 1.01. 1. 1. Yes. We haven't have we reached that yet? I don't believe not, that not is. yet, but that is that is something that Richard is looking forward to is 1.01. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. <laughs> That's episode 1, I believe, right? I'm guess yes. I'm guessing that's what they're going to call it. Uh, for release one, one point oh one, and then what is O two going to be? Episode two? O2 no, 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 no. One point oh two would be the first patch. Uh, then after that, so then the the question becomes: Does the monthly installments or the monthly does that become one point one, or does it just keep adding? Well, good, that, smaller yeah, well, digits. I, well that's that's a question we really don't need because ep episode episode point. two would be version two well you gotta just uh wonder but uh yeah. good things to wonder about and, and i got not, not uh, i've got a cat that's uh gonna make it, but, craving lots of know, attention today how soon are we gonna see this release now of course for anybody who's been Wondering if this game's going to make it. If you've been here this long, I think you already know the answer to that question. So I'm not even going to go there. Is uh, We've been here yeah, two plus years doing what we're doing. The game's been here almost four years. We're, 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 we're not going anywhere. So. <laughs> we're going Forget somewhere. Forget all the naysayers that you see out there over in the Steam and forget all the people on that other uh, idiot box. Uh, it's what's all good. the other one? It's all good. Yeah. No, where's the place that uh, all the flamers hang out? Reddit. <laughs> Reddit. 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 Thank you. Yeah, no, oh, I was going to oh, say oh, not not Arius's house. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Steam too, right? Don't be, uh... Well, again, Steam only uh, represents a very small, small percentage of the game in total, according to the folks down in Portal area. It, it's uh, about again, twenty, 20 per there, less than twenty percent of the logins, something like that. Less than five percent okay. of the game population comes through Steam. Now, it's been quoted between three and five. I use the five at the high end to be on the safe side. That's yeah. all. But meanwhile, it's awful quiet in the background. List, are you just sitting there looking pretty for a reason, or are you? Oh, he, play he, he's looking it? pretty because oh, I'm playing something right now. I can't, man. Can't hear a damn thing. Sitting right next to you, can't hear nothing. Well, maybe yeah. you're you're not listening. Oh no, it sounds. Q-tip. 
Q-tips? I'm sure, I'm sure if I turn my camera the funky way, I hear you. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's got nothing to do with you know, my volume. Sorry. My volume is fine. Yeah. So this this cat is that that's uh, down at my left is pretty pretty cool because whenever he's begging, he does this. Uh huh. It, it's really funny. He's praying. Yeah. yeah. It, Where is he? Well, I think Jack's got a little pussy. <laughs> that's better than a big pussy. Uh. <laughs> he's right here. Meow. Yeah. yeah. That's Jack oh, real life, yeah. Pussy. yeah re, re, real life, <laughs> real life pussy. Uh, yeah, the furry pussy, not the bald pussy. That's the, that's the seventies pussy. Right? Yeah, shave that thing. Yeah, <laughs> last. Where's where's your Merkin, man? Where's your Merkin? Harry, breaking my Harry movie. Yeah. So uh, other news that we also have. <laughs> Is related to the stand-up corner. Stand-up corner. Yeah, stand-up. I don't want to stand up. I want to sit down. Well, see, the, this chair I'm sitting in kind of hurts up. my butt cheeks. Yeah. So it's 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 one where it's like I, I need more more padding on my ass, just because it hurts. No comment. No comment. What? <laughs> hey, so I suffer from the the no ass at all. The, the flat ass syndrome. Yeah. yeah. Got the Zachleys too. The, the what? Zachleys. <laughs> <laughs> Last us. I, I, I'm not familiar with that one. You're going to have to fill me in. Uh, so when your mouth tastes exactly like your asshole. Uh, see, I definitely yeah, don't I have that problem. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your, your mouth smells exactly like your ass. <laughs> Let, let's let's have been eating that corn again. You know, oh that. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving right along. Led Zepp likes his corn processed. <laughs> <laughs> Sick bastard. Okay, so yeah, but you're not supposed to process it that way. You know? Right, right. Uh, so moving right along. Move. We do have Stand Up Corner. Don't forget Stand Up Corners where the devs say, Hey, I worked on this yesterday. I'm working on this today. Eventually, something gets written down and also eventually it gets posted to the forums and we get to interpret what they're talking about. Remember, today is. Today is Thirsty Thursday. And Thirsty Thursday. we're going to be talking about what the devs said they were working on on Hump Day. Hump. So it was either Taco Tuesday or Hump Day. One of the two got written down. So over in the art department, Bob the Builder. Death Bunny Bob. Working on the town pirate ship home. Arr. 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 Damon. Damon Aldrin. Working on bugs. Bugs. And level up visual effects polish. Wait. Does that mean they're bringing back the level up ding? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I, I guess that means they're bringing back the level up ding. Uh, what's that? I never heard of that for a long time. I, so, <laughs> before the show, we were talking about man, I, I wish I, my adventurer level came back. I mean, level up visual effects. I, I guess that means uh, adventurer levels might be coming back. Wow, they they they, 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 they're they going to show you a visual, but they're not going to show you the number. Well, gonna be well you, you, you can always get the the number by bringing up your stats and go trolling through the logs or using yeah, something like Yumuri's Soda Hood. Uh, right. just, just show us the level, please. Yeah, then after that... Level yeah. skill, it does the little animation. Maybe it's that. Okay. Yes. One of the two. You know, no. I would I would just yeah, like right. the numbers shown. Yeah. yeah not a big maybe, maybe a little audio notification. You know, I don't need all that fluff. That's just you, well, you, maybe put the you, number you on the I need call. lots of fluffing. I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, I could use a personal <laughs> and, fluffer. And then there, therein, therein lies your problem. What? That you need lots uh, of fluffing. Let's get back to the game here. Uh, <laughs> Art review meeting. 
Fletcher is working on the Scepter of Dread updates and the Guard citizens in art review meetings. Fletch. Yeah. Kevin! Kevin! He's working on Avatar Eyes update. You mean what? they're not going to have those bulging googly eyes anymore? The eyes are going to be doing something weird now. And art review. Well, in Led Zepp's case, they're, they're well, Led Zepp's case, they're all cross-eyed. Uh, some eyes. Oh, you should be able to pick. Eyes aren't bulging. Yeah. I'll tell you what's bulging. Man. You should be able to pick what the eye orientation <laughs> is. If he wants to be cross-eyed, you know, we should be able to play a cross-eyed beggar. Yeah. Well, that is his norm default state. Is cross-eyed. So. Let's make all the girls cross-eyed. <laughs> 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 and also the art review meeting. <laughs> There's no way you're making any girls cross-eyed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, he's got grandkids, you know. I don't know. I think that speaks for itself. <laughs> well, we would need the paternity test to prove there is. <laughs> All right. Let's move along. <laughs> move right Was along. Willie Hare a good giveaway? Was what? Was what? The woolly hair and giveaway. I, I don't know. I've never seen uh, his I've grandkid. Seen Have you seen his grandkid? Woolly <laughs> hair. Yeah. <laughs> then uh, then uh, wool. Yeah. Bye. Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right. We were talking about. Go ahead, Jack. Wait. It's uh. Wait. Wait. Led Zepp does have kids. <laughs> It's been having way too much fun with the sheep. The Almighty Geeks Vargax. Matt. He's trying to put two hands on his pole arm and work on the animations. Gotta, you gotta get both hands wrapped and around. Right. And That's what I'm talking about. And the art review meeting. Reed, he's working on the trophy head texture optimizations. And cloaks as decorations planning. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon, you're going to have hangers all over the place to hang up all of I'm your cloaks. Gonna I'm going to have a huge house full of nothing but cloaks. The wall of cloaks. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just lay them out on the lot. Uh, well, th this is Liz and Jack we're talking about. I mean, our deco you and strategy. I could probably cover both of these town lots <laughs> with cloaks very, very oh, easily. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that would be way too easy. Um, then after that, let's see who were we looking at now. Um, over, over in design. Design. Beezus. The bees. He's trying to work on some patterns. Update your crafting stuff. Then Sea Wolf. Sea Wolf. Trying to work on Laz's stretch. He's working out in my neck of the woods. I know. It's like it's long, long fall, fall woods. woods. Yeah. Damien. He's working on High Vale's outskirts. The outskirts. <laughs> well, it, you know what? You got to start off that starting zone and then. Or, well. Or I shouldn't say starting zone. It's, it's, newbie zone. You gotta, yeah, yeah. Who does polish passes? You're going to hopefully see a whole bunch of UI polish in the future here. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to, like, like drag some health bars around and peel some I'll off. Peel some off and and yeah. Yeah. How, how long have we been waiting on that request? I don't know. Over three years? I, I don't know what you're talking is, about. Is, hasn't gotten that guy gotten back from, from his vacation? It, yeah, it, he's out on his honeymoon. <laughs> and it, it's a really quick fix. Won't take him any time at all. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not. And congratulations, Joaquin, Wizard Smoke, <laughs> <laughs> on that wedding two years ago. Uh, Dan, hey, the man. man. Well, he's still on the you know, honeymoon. <laughs> and the membrane. Player Town updates and interactives update. Because you got to be able to touch all kinds of things. You got to be able to touch it. Push it. Put your finger in it. You put your finger in it. Corner. Sad. Yeah. Well. Led Zepp, Led Zepp, guy, when, when, when you're always sitting in the corner whenever the sheep are running away from you. 
Who's the guy who pulled the plum out? I forgot his name. I don't know. Sanyo is working on bugs. Bug. And the middle down puzzles. And mm -hmm. interactives mm -hmm. update. Oh. Lum the mad. Lum. <laughs> Lum the mad. <laughs> Working on a quest reset and dread artifacts. Dread artifacts. Where is Sorcerer Steve? He's working out on Middle Downs. The Energy Vortex. List Rostov. Working on South Broken Road. He's trying to fix it. Um, he's not taking lessons from most city planners, <laughs> city planner. and he's trying to actually trying fix to the potholes. Christopher. Yeah, and fix those potholes, man. I mean, we don't need any more broken roads. Over in tech, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. Working on the quest points of interest compass updates. Eric is working on AI bugs. Bug. JY. JY. Trying to figure out these localization meetings. I wonder if they're conducting the meeting in German or Spanish. Hmm. We gets and bugs. Bug. Wizard smoke. Oh man! He's, he's, oh. he's puff puff passing around the font updates. This will be the third time the game's gonna change the font. Possibly. Hey man, stop drooling. Out. Yeah. Then after that, the Deathbringer one and only is working on the wall light decoration and flag updates. Wall light flag decoration. Decoration Flags flag? that line up. I mean, wall lights that are flagged as decoration? I mean, who would have thought hmm. that wall lights would be a decoration? Who'd have thunk? I, I know, that's, that's absurd. Burning Toad, he's working up. On localization meeting and bugs. Bug. Tassilo better get to work on my web store update. And localization broke, meetings. Broke, broke the web store. Yes. Broke it, it good. Th there, is a, there is a huge bug for those of you that actually have an account like I do. Where you've never logged it in and you collect your add-on store purchases. Um... I've already bug reported this. I've also messaged Tassilo directly. Um, so if you have that, that account that's never logged in and it's got all of your add-on store purchases and you try to send something that's been expired off the add-on store to... As a gift. As a gift um, to one of your other accounts or to someone else. Um, Any other account. It will not work. So I have, I have already bug reported that because you, you know what? I, I need to send myself a gift of a Lord British necklace. Mm. That I, yep. Is it, yep. Is it a pearl necklace? No, it's not a pearl necklace. <laughs> Where's a... Better, well, he'll accept one so, from you if you want to <laughs> gift him one. I, I, if you... If you... You can always <laughs> ask you Lord British... Uh, instead of the silver serpent necklace that you would like him to provide you with a silver serpent necklace, I'm pretty confident that he might give you that pearl necklace. He, he might. I, he might charge you an exorbitant sum for that pearl necklace, but yeah, you know what? If the money's right, I'm pretty sure he'll do it. Just for you, Led's up. Move hanging right a lot. <laughs> You're trying not to We're laugh. I see that. You're trying not to laugh. It's not going to work. That wasn't that funny. Oh, come on. Okay, hey, useless worried. overhead. Over. Andrea is working on sanity test and the bug forums. And then, bug. then list, list had to talk some smack and he went over to the QA department and asked him man what what does your sanity test checklist look like and they pull out this thing with like pages and pages of things that they go through and check for the sanity test and, and they, they found list rolled up in a ball in the corner a half yeah. hour later 
after, and, after he took a peek at that list. And, and then then he cried and then he came back and then then he's like jack you need to send the qa department some love and apologize because th- that list isn't that short it's 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 pretty it's pretty damn long. that's right the boys and girls down there are working hard so oh, remember absolutely. while you yeah. while you giving your criticism and uh updates and thoughts make sure you let them know that you appreciate what they're doing now man. You, you, you know what the, the fact that i mean we are uh approaching four years of development um that's right but at the same time the development team has pretty much remained consistent about the size and that's about 30 developers actively working on the game and you have been able to play some iteration of the game from that first month all the way to today i the right, the, right. the, the first development yeah every single little change yeah the first right. the first 12 releases were pretty much only weekend only um uh once a month and then at starting release 13 that is when they decided you know what we're going to go ahead and make the game world and test our servers in their online 24 7 and then from there yeah but then they had some wipes until uh last august where the game world went persistent so everything has been persistent since then so this is a phenomenal job that they've done and i mean you couldn't do that without the qa department nope nope yeah and they try to keep all the the, the game stopper bugs out so then uh, yep yep so they're doing awesome and you must applaud our devs for what they've been doing and this list is a. Uh, Playing a happy That's little. Right. This time 2017. Zip, go ahead. This is not launch. Yet. 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 Story it's completion, though. Good. Story completion. So Story complete. Complete. we are close. We're yeah. getting close, people. Oh yeah. Then after that, we do have uh, the Dippy Bird. Well, everybody's the bird. About the bird. He's been working on words of power. He's trying, he's, he's trying to figure out Calort or and Bugs Bugs off those are and the two year plan two years I planned for two years you know pay attention yeah Gorn he's still testing out his red speedo in the localization meetings Barrick he's working on the telethon prep and seed investing emails and syndicon which is the syndicate which was the first guild in ultima online the syndicate who is syndicate is the largest worldwide recognized guild longest guild well what recognized in many different games not just ultima many games and- including shroud of the avatar and is a world record holder. Oh yeah. Then after that, we you have the Syndicon prep and reports because they do have their convention coming up, and I believe some of the devs are going to show up to it again. Then Hutch is working on clocks and utensils, assets, and the art review meeting. The Attenwood, he's working on sanity testing and regression tests, and issue reproductions. Issues, issues, issues. Issues, issues, issues. I just can't reproduce. Propagation. Can't do it. Can't. Need those Let's steps. Lord British is working on seed invest direction and story playtesting. Out there in <laughs> the world. Dirt. That sounds dirty. Yeah. Oh, well, it is. I mean, if you're, play yeah. tes- if you're playtesting story stuff, it can get really dirty really it's fast. dirty work. Hanging out in the doors too much. Well, he's been hanging out in the the lower parts of Artifice for hours on end, trying to make sure that all the conversation is exactly what it should be. Uh, 
I don't think Laz has done that quest yet. Or else you'd I be laughing. Not. You would really be laughing if uh, you knew what I was talking about then. Okay, then Chaos is working on telethon prep and sales prep and bugs. Bug. And patch notes. Serafina providing that wonderful customer service. Wonderful customer service. Last but not least, the Dark Star. He's working on the art review and seed invest and Travian support and weekly update update and the two year plan. And that's what our devs said they were working on yesterday in their stand up meeting. Yeah, oh, you know, I'd like I like that I'm seeing that repeated in several different uh, places. Which, which which part? The two year plan. 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 Hey, what's our plan in two years? Uh, uh, hopefully to have episode two released. You sure about that? I thought it was sitting on the lot and taking over the world. Well, uh, 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 this is our plan, we, we, not their have plan. Taking over the world in episode one by then. Of okay. course, then we're just going to have to move to a new continent and take that one over. But we'll do it the same way. We'll just be sitting on a lot somewhere okay. in the world. Yeah. Don't forget to buy your teleports and recall scrolls from Laz and Jack. Laz's, right. Laz's have a higher fizzle chance than, than Jack's. I don't know why. I think it's the quality <laughs> ingredients that I use from the Auchenshire and Markham Farms. Damn right. I don't know about <laughs> that. Mom may disagree. <laughs> Mom provides Laz his ingredients, and for some reason his... his yeah, I was going to say, you want to talk about the ingredients, man. You slap a mom around well, on it, that. It, but, must yeah. be, it must be the, uh, the wood pulp that you're using then. Yeah. 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 Oh, you mean that quality BMC wood pulp? You know, that's that's the wood pulp. Okay, that's I the wood pulp causing the problems. I, I see how you are. Yeah, it, it's 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 not mom's ingredients. It's the wood uh -huh. pulp. It, it wouldn't have anything to do with the crafter. Yeah, no, not the uh, not the cra no. <laughs> It's easier <laughs> just to blame the crafter, Jack. You know, you <laughs> get yourself in all sorts of trouble. It's all good. You, you, it's all you're good. You're stepping on the clan. You're stepping on the home turf. Just remember, you know, I can get to you, Jack. Uh, uh oh, dum dum dum. The ball punch was. Uh, yeah. you're, you're messing. You're messing with the females at a pack, man. You know they run things. I mean, geez, you don't you know any better than oh, that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah. But of course, moving right along, uh, we do have a uh, little little blurb by uh, the Dippy Bird himself out there today. Of course, yes, we do. I mean, that came in the right bird. right before the sh the show, the bird. where he updated his daily blog on what he's working on, and he starts off with Woot Seed mm -hmm. Invest support, Seed Invest campaign over its first milestone. And then working on some design issues for the equivalent of card stacking with the heat system. And that's been tasked to one and only doing the implementation. So, so that, card, that card, card stacking, we, we, heat system issues. We should issues. expect it to be really good. Is that why, why he put that note in there? We should expect some superb stuff from the one and only. Massive changes incoming, in possibly. It? Yeah, the death ring. Then he had a quick meeting with Travian, which resulting in us moving from hip chat to Slack for their inner office chatting. So I, I was wondering if uh, that had any reference to how they're chatting about localization. I wonder if that's got anything to do. Well, uh, so just like our, our Baltic languages, um, so Russian support and some of the other Baltic languages, uh, uh, Black Sun is going to be helping with that. This, I take this to mean that Travian is going to help work on the localization for some of like German, possibly like Castilian, Spanish, the Portuguese. Areas they're going to distribute in. Right? Yeah. Everywhere. Central, Central South Central America. South. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Hey. And Chris mm -hmm. also had to do some had to do some recovery work on a local cache server 
or as he says, sir, sir, and perforce work and perforce box. And he left a bit early yesterday, and, and minutes after leaving, the whole building lost power for quite some time. All right. Someone used the microwave again, and the building lost power. Can't somebody hey, use a power efficient microwave in that right. office, I'll tell you. Well, yeah. Now, of course, uh, somebody was asking, I think we, we touched on it yesterday on yesterday's show, um, what what they were doing with the server when it was down. And I think that's a little bit of the explanation there. Yes? No? Um, no, I don't think that's the explanation because I think it had to do with them going back and awarding all the XP from people that had completed a bunch of quests that they weren't being assigned and then generating that email. So... It wasn't an exploit fix. It was, you know, we need to stop the stop the database from accepting input temporarily. Go ahead and run a script that will give everybody back that XP that they lost, as well as generate an email saying, "Hey, you've just been awarded a hundred thousand XP because you completed this quest line or more." Gotcha. And so that that is probably why they brought it down, and I think. Now, on on Artifice, um, I have made it down to Artifice. I've been down. Um, but, yeah, as, uh, as you know, uh, am I reading all the quest lines and conversations along the way? No. Although I, I did catch a couple of uh, interesting tidbits along the way. So, yes. And, of <laughs> course, yeah, the creative artistry that's been done in some of them rooms just makes you go... Hmm. Really makes you wonder. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. I mean, it's artifice, man. I mean, it's, yeah. they tell you all about it. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you really need to do these quest lines so that way you can really enjoy artifice for what it is. Well, again, I understand, and I've I I I know a lot of the main concept, but how how does one? I mean, yeah, see, that gets... H how does one do what? How right, do you spoiler? know everybody wants to see that? Well... So, well so, um, <laughs> yeah. That, that mean, is actually yeah, part see, of the... While, it, while it's that, supposed to... That, that is actually part of the dialogue tree. That is part yeah. of the actual dialogue tree. Yeah. So if you actually talk to people, there are people that say that they, they, they don't want it. And then other people saying he doesn't know what he's talking about. He really wants it. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So. 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 As far as the consent, non-consent stuff, there is that that threshold that is actually discussed in there. Well, what they do in their own cages down there with those whips. Hey, don't know what you're talking about, man. Business. You've never been there, so. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. So. So you would actually have to go down there I told you and explore. I've been there. Um, I've been to the halls. I've been downstairs. I've walked. I, well, I, I've walked around the plate. And I do not kill the children. Yes, the, the children aren't there. there. It's all fake. It's all fake. Uh, well, uh, they tell you that many times in that dialogue tree. I, I know what they tell you. I'm, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the prize. Oh, you're interested in watching them vlog each other. Is well, that's what I was talking about. Uh, who, who says? Who says I'm interested in watching that? You know, who says that's what uh, my desire <laughs> thought when I go down? Um, <laughs> All right, let's let's move along here. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> you, you just, you're just jealous because you're not the one getting flogged. So shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, do the pain thing. That makes oh, me giggle. Mommy, mommy. <laughs> mommy, yeah. Yes, Mommy ain't yes, gonna yes. save you. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's gonna be the one pulling out the whips. <laughs> and it all has this so mommy, much. that's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah. This mommy's not gonna be she's she's gonna be laying a hurting on your ass. <laughs> she'll That's show you she'll about. she'll be showing you who wears the pants Girl, in that so. family. <laughs> or who doesn't yeah. wear the pants. What are pants? <laughs> Yeah, okay. right, right. What a fans. Yeah. So so waste up, folks. Waste up. Good reason for it. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
So, did, did you see the news about um, our digital currency friends? I saw a blurb on it, but it uh, wasn't something, again, not something that I'm seeing as uh, viable at this point. While I, I like the interest in it, I just don't see it. Well, like my, my issue with uh, the cryptocurrencies is pr pretty much what just happened to Bitcoin, where there was a fork off the Bitcoin to Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin. Um, where okay. a group of developers said, yeah, we really need to do something to increase whatever. But yeah, so they, they ended up forking it. And you know what? People are end up with Bitcoin Cash, which was worth like $630 per coin. And then Bitcoin, which was worth like 2K or something like that. <laughs> Go yeah. blood on. <laughs> what, what'd he say? What'd he say? <laughs> Not what he said. What he did. What'd he do? <laughs> what'd he do? I wasn't paying attention. You'll, 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 you'll find out in a minute. Do, do I need to go watch the, the Twitch? No. You should be paying attention to what's going on in the game, man. Come on. The, well, I, I, Everybody I, saw that. I didn't see it because I wasn't <laughs> watching it. Yeah. It, just wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. Yes, uh, again, it intrigued me. I like I I like what I read, but again, you know, when you see a hundred million ripped off from a cryptocurrency just in, in one week, you know, and it would happen not once but several times in a week. Um, you know. Now, yep. I, mean, I know. Yeah, well, all currencies are fake to begin with. It's all a fig tree of our imagination. Yeah. Well, in, until you get back onto the gold standard, but yeah, the, the dollar yeah. bill ain't worth the paper it's printed on. Yeah, I mean, yep. A penny is actually worth a whole lot more than a penny melted down. I don't get the, it. The <laughs> Price of copper, man. Price of copper. <laughs> but uh, well, pennies are made out of zinc now. As if you haven't heard, they don't make them out of copper. Still cost more to make a penny than a penny's worth. Oh, yeah, that's different. Yeah. No. They just don't make them out of copper anymore. So, uh, <laughs> in case you didn't know. Yeah, that, that's a rough one in their list. <laughs> I think yeah, you're a little, think little, little late for, for that. Oh, <laughs> Venezuela. Yeah. <laughs> well, their money is worth like toilet paper or something. Like paper yeah. Paper. Well, yeah. 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 I'm not. I'm not even touching that because the implications of what's going on there is what's wrong with the world. But anyway. I love socialism. It's not socialism. Well, yes, I, I love it when a democratically elected government says they have an election and that people say that something happened and then some other government says, no, we don't like that. And then goes in. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 I, don't yeah. Know. Really. Yeah. I don't know anything about that. A rich country. Yeah. Hey, too. Hey, they hey, were. You, you were in the, in the military in the eighties when uh, the U S was sending lots of troops down South. Hey, I, w I was in the military in the 80s sitting on the west side of the Berlin Wall. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes. I, I know just a little something about all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, I mean, if we're going, if we're going to delve into politics, it's like governments that call we're themselves, that. governments that call themselves socialist or communist generally are military dictatorships. Well, that's what happens. Is socialism. Don't be a dick. Yeah. And, and it has nothing to do with actual the theory of communism because really that's well, all it is that, it's yeah, a freaking yeah, theory playing man out there playing with a stick <laughs> yep he's he's waving yeah. his big stick around yeah you, you know what <laughs> you know what the nbn app is good for i do what is it good uh, for? Yeah. 
It's good for all sorts of things, like checking out the NBNN Daily Britannian and keeping up on the latest news when you're not listening to the podcast of Lunch with Laz and Jack on the NBNN Trinity Avatar app. I know that much. But I also know you can also find all sorts of other cool stuff out there on the NBNN app, including the forums, the marketplaces, you can listen to the radios, and of course, you can check out the NBNN Shrouded Avatar community calendar, also located on the nbnn.info website for your convenience. Today's calendar brought to you by Water Changes Everything. Water Changes Everything? What? Changes what? <laughs> Okay, don't forget the the NBNN. I'm uh, plugging the ad that's on the page. That's all. <laughs> the NBNN community community calendar is an aggregate of all the available public calendars that Laz has been informed of. And if you have a Google public calendar and you want it added to the NBNN Shroud of the Avatar community calendar, because it is the most comprehensive calendar related to shroud of the avatar you need to do message news at nbnn.info and that guy over there will eventually get it added this guy. all times on the community calendar are central standard time in the real world but we prefer to refer to it as nude britannia time nude britannia time. yes at 12s and 6s around the clock you can tune into wrfb and listen to two idiots interpret the news so you don't have to a little show called lunch with us these guys that's right at 7 p.m you can join malahari or kazan phoenix fire of the phoenix republic for the pve nights at 7 p.m you need to tune in your ether amplifiers to wrfb W-R-F-B. For the 70s at 7. At 8 o'clock, be prepared to have your ear holes massaged because DJ Nurse Justin is going to be taking over WRFB. Right and she's, yeah, she's going to be right, right on top of, of that, it. Right. Yeah. And she's going to be doing her show, Unmedicated Schizophrenia Part 2. Do. Yeah. She, she will be gently massaging your ear holes after they were probed, probed by, by Dr. Eclipse, Eclipse Maiden. That's right. Time. So they need to be firmly probed, and then after that, they need to be massaged. That's gently e- massaged. you got to love what the Deco Divas are doing to your ears. That's right. What they're doing to the world out there, making the world a lot better place oh, one yeah. lot at a time. And final event of the evening is also on w- WRFB. W-R-F-B. And that's the record room. And that's our community calendar for this Thursday, August 3rd in... Thirsty. Thursday. of the yeah. Avatar. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> How are you doing? Just checking. Just checking? Checking on what? Just checking. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. One or something. <laughs> he's, he's sitting there waving that big stick in your face, Jack. You gonna let him get away with that? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Just grab that. I'd ban him from my lot, but he's uh, not not on my grab lot. It. He, he's he's in that neutral zone. Neither one of us can touch him, man. <laughs> in the alley. Yes, damn you, alleyway. That's not me. That's Senator Strange. That's right. That's Senator Strange. I'm sitting over here in Jax. Oh. Next to Mommy. <laughs> yeah. Why aren't you sitting with the statues, man? I know. It's uh... Well, it's like, well, go find your corn or go find a sheep. <laughs> get, get away from it. Uh, well, well, that's, that's what I was good. laughing it's at. Food on my no, so- no sooner did Led Zepp get up and go to the can out there that Blood Omen jumped up and stole his seat. I was waiting for him to come back going, what the fuck? But of course, that didn't happen. So. Oh, get your foot off my coin. <laughs> hey, man. Dirty. I don't know if you want your foot anywhere near that corn. I tell you. 
<laughs> you toe fungus. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking toe's gonna turn black. Or... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Moving yeah, right along. Moving right along, that's right. Only a couple days left, boys and girls. Don't forget. If you ain't got your tickets yet, go ahead and go out to sodaconaustin.org and get those tickets. Uh, you got a couple days left uh, before ticket sales close to get yourself tickets to SodaCon. And of course, that's happening in October in Austin with the developers. All sorts of uh, great stuff going on down there. Uh, get to meet and greet a bunch of the developers, hang out with a bunch of your shroudies, trade tall tales, uh, have a good time, and uh, learn a little bit more about the folks you're playing with. So don't forget, ticket sales end August 10th. And uh, that's all I got to say on that one. I still don't have a ticket. <laughs> still don't have a ticket. Can't afford one. Uh, Can't afford yeah. one. You should have bought one back when they were $45. Couldn't afford it then either. I'm poor, <laughs> man. Yeah. I'm so poor. I'm so broke. You I can't afford to pay attention. You sold the chain for $50 for crying out loud. Uh, well, the, uh, I, I can't cash I out that, cash that chain until you can't after. can't cash out that chain either. Because <laughs> That's right. I have to wait for my support <laughs> ticket to go through. Uh, oh, you, geez, you, need, you need to sell yeah, some yeah, more yeah. teleport and recall scrolls. Hey, so, I did uh, I did that last night. I sold teleports and I know, recall I scrolls. I saw that. Is, uh, me, so let, let's let's get on yeah. with the good stuff here, okay. and uh, let's go ahead and thank let's... all the good folks who uh, help support us and keep things going around here. Of course, Arius Coilmore, Coilmore Wands, putting the magic in your hands. Check out Arius Coilmore if you want the custom-made wands made the specification. Arius Coilmore is the guy to go see. He'll get you all taken care of. The Britannian Mining Company wants you to come on down the market road and hang out and uh, check out all the merchants they got down there. Of course, all the merchants have the same pricing on all commodities, so you'll always get the same fair price along market road for your crafting convenience. Located in the Quell region, right next to the Etzer Mines, for your mining convenience and pleasure as well. What would a bunch of miners be if they didn't live next to a mine? Yeah. Don't know what you're talking Doesn't about. Make any sense. Uh, miners? Mine? Never. Yeah. I don't know. It's, who'd, who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk it? Of course, relicsbyreal.com for all your licensed Trinity Avatar swag. If you need t shirts, you need hats, you need patches. You need an MBNN bumper sticker. Upside down. <laughs> was it upside down? Yes, it was. There we go. MBNN bumper okay. sticker. Yeah. I just grabbed it randomly off the desk. Yep. A along with my ticket to SodaCon. That's right. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, I, like why I keep those there, I don't know. I should put them away. But anyway. You want all sorts of goodies, Trinity Avatar related, go to relicsbyreal.com. Check out all the good stuff he's got. He's got drinkware, coffee mugs, hoodies, t-shirts, and more. Coinage, you name it. And if you want to save a little money when you check out at Relics by Real, use the promo code NBNN. When you check out, you'll save 10% when you check out at relicsbyreal.com. WRFB, Radio Free Britannia, where you can catch us throughout the day in replays. You can catch the Divas every Wednesday and Thursday. You can catch the, uh, yeah, I've got it. The Sarah and Andar show uh, happening also late night tonight uh, for your late night pleasure. Uh, House of Omen. Oh, yeah. Wolfton. I don't know if Wolfton's still doing his 5 a.m. on Friday. But I know he's slotted there. So if he is, <laughs> don't forget him. Uh, yeah, because we got people in slots and I'm not well, up to it, hear whether it, they're on the radio the, or the, not. The only so. way you're up at 5 a.m. is if you haven't gone to sleep yet. If I haven't gone to sleep yet. That's right. Uh, of course, House of Omen uh, every late night, Friday, early Saturday mornings. It's late night, Saturday, early Sunday mornings, 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. 
uh, Thursday, Friday, or Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, late night shows for you late nighters out there. And of course, uh, all sorts of news and other updates and music throughout the day, throughout the week on WRFB Radio Free Britannia. The Airy Fund, where gamers, helping gamers, making a difference out in the world. Of course, I got to update that logo to the Think Pink logo. Oh, of it's going to be coming. It's going to be announced. coming. Yeah. It, well, it was just announced in the forums, giving everybody a heads up and uh, subliminally uh, getting that out there in mm -hmm. people's minds just to keep it up. And uh, we'll be bringing you more about the Think Pink uh Community cause community fun, through community the Airy Fund. Coming up. Yes. And don't yeah, forget, right. don't forget if you are a gamer in need, you can always go to airyfund.org and you can fill out the uh, application for help because the Airy Fund doesn't just help community causes, it also helps other gamers in need. It is good works through gaming and it, the Airy Fund is out there to, to help a little bit That's of everything. Right. Gamers helping gamers. That's right. Gaming for a cause. That's right. Great stuff. And of course, last but not least, we've got Trout Marketplace, TroutMarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs. And we say all your virtual vendable needs. We're not joking. Oh, yeah. I tell the boys and girls what they can get out there. In the Shroud Marketplace. Necklaces and scrolls. Yeah. It's yeah. the place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related. Every single vendor is a different player. Uh, there's 59 different uh, vendors. Uh, so diff 59 different players that have registered as vendors. Um, a bunch of them have all kinds of different stuff up there. Just like the latest vendor who is Avalonian Creations, where they've got some reagents up there for sale. So if you're looking for Nightshade Mandrake, you can find that. Or you could always visit uh, Armitage's shop where he's got the Warlock chain. He's got all kinds of other things. The One of the first cloaks in the game to expire, the Oracle Cloak. I mean, that is up there for sale by Armitage. Then you've got Obsidian Cloaks, you've got Virtue Cloaks, all kinds of things, including Teleports and Recall Scrolls from Jack. I mean, y you know what? My shop, if you use, if you go to the coupons at the top, you'll yeah, see. running a big sale. I, right I'm running then. a big sale, 15% off, as long as you use the coupon code or promo code JACK15 off. That's right. You Jack can <laughs> 15 off. Use yes. the promo code when you check out. It's in a more. If you any that and that is <laughs> anything stuff. off of uh Cinesis stuff, which is anything in my shop. So you will need to go through and look for things and you will get 15% off as long as you use that promo code. Uh I try now, to get everything. How do, how do other vendors get promo codes if other vendors need or well, would like to put a promo code out there? All they got to do is contact the, the, the marketplace. Yes, uh, there is a there is an instructions for that. Uh, that when in the vendor news for vendors when they're logged in, and it's just a matter of emailing the marketplace and saying, "Hey, I want I want to set up this this promo code for this dates," and then it will get set up. And this percentage or this dollar figure or whatever. I mean, you can set up a promo code on like individual items or you can set it up for your entire shop. You can set it up for other things as well. So it becomes a little bit more All interesting. All sorts of great yeah. stuff out at the marketplace. Oh, yeah. Just for your shopping convenience out there. And of course, uh, yeah, everything. Uh, from sales to services to houses, you well, name I mean, it, it's on the marketplace. Yeah, it's like Wolfdom and Celine, or Wolf, sorry, Wolfdom's cheesy sign writing. I mean, the cheesy sign writing. I mean, so do right. design we, service. We are not yeah. just promoters, we're also customers. Oh, yeah. When, when Laz bought the cheese sign writing that's on my lot, uh, which, that's I mean, right. You gotta love that. They did it in Runic. In Runic. Yeah. Runic cheesy writing. Nowhere else but here. Anything and everything can be bought or sold on Shroud Marketplace that is related to Shroud of the Avatar as long as it does not violate the terms of service. That's right. Yeah. And you really got to go far to violate the terms of service. So don't sweat the small stuff. Folks. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of everything. It's 
all good. Right. We'll see about that. <laughs> and of course, it brings us to that time of the day where we got to start saying our goodbye and thanking all the good folks out there for joining us today. We love you guys. We love you coming and joining us, having a good time. And of course, don't forget, you can come join us in Discord five days a week. And of course, not just during the show, we're here all day long. So if you're just looking for some information, you can come on in, say hello and chat, or just ask questions or hang out and enjoy the hijinks and shenanigans that go on throughout the day. And, and in don't, meantime, for, don't forget, I mean, if you feel like interrupting us to to make a point, go ahead and do so. I mean, it, chime right chime in. Right in. Be like Led Zepp. I mean, just stay away from the sheep. Those just, are just, yeah, yeah, corn. Just stay the fuck away and the corn. corn. Don't, 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 corn. don't use this corn to stir you. <laughs> then I mean, it's like we we do this show for you guys, and we otherwise we would just be two guys sitting around just shooting the shit. So sitting you know, around with no pants on. Yeah, having a good time. We do have lots of fun, yeah. and uh, we hope everybody else is enjoying what we're doing. I mean, yeah, that's right. But meanwhile, we got to get out of here. So with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. We'll be back tomorrow for the weekend roundup here. Tell you what's happening in your weekend news. But till then, I'm Lance. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Stay tuned to NBNN for more news, sports, entertainment, crazy wild happenings, the latest hijinks and shenanigans right here inside Trinity Avatar. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you, Blood Hole Man. I love you. You're awesome.